In terms of bad weeks, Danny, that was a bad week. Yeah, to say the least. I think obviously off the pitch losing Dev and, and Niall and then obviously two defeats. Saturday there was quite a lot of positives last Saturday to take. I'm really, I'm not even frustrated tonight, Steve. I'm angry tonight. That's a game there that panned out similar to how I expected it in the first half. I thought they'd let us have the ball and get behind and be tight and try and hit us on the counter-attack. And um, Yeah, we've played into the hands a little bit. Um, one thing I will say is that I'm not going to change the way I am. I'm going to play football no matter what. Yeah. I'm not changing. Now, if people don't like that, and while I'm still standing in that dugout, that isn't changing. I've had people ask me tonight about Route 1 football, get the ball forward, I'm hearing shouts. That isn't going to happen. So while I'm still in the dugout, we are going to play football. And that is my beliefs of how it should be played, rightly or wrongly. But I'm not changing my ways. We will play football while I'm still in the dugout working yeah. in Reds. So anybody who thinks that I'm going to change is sadly mistaken because I'm not. Well, I accept your principles and I agree with them. Uh, but I thought we were flat overall first half. I wouldn't, uh, I, I did wouldn't you say think there was a response second? I wouldn't say flat. Uh, that's something that I wouldn't say. Um, I, I think what we did was I, I, we spoke about this on Thursday night, about being patient and moving them across from side to side and making sure that we could try and tire their legs out of them. Now, what we didn't um, plan for was giving them a leg up and giving them a goal. Yeah. Um, their first entry into our box and they get a goal. We have two or three other opportunities to punish them. And like I say, goals change games. There, there's no hiding that. They get the goal probably against the runner play in the first 10-15 minutes because I thought we were, we were good. Um, we score, if we take our chances just before half-time, it's a completely different game. Second half, um, as you say there, it feels like there was a bit more energy. It's because we had more legs in them at that time. Mm. Look, credit to Bradford Park Avenue, they, they deserve the win today. They were better than us in the two boxes. They've kept a clean sheet in the squad too. Um, the, the two goals are really disappointing. The second goal's offside. Um, but even then, we've got to defend it and we've got to force the player out wide who's all left foot um, and we allow him to step inside and bend it in the far corner. But we've got enough opportunities in this game today where we shouldn't be expecting um, that one moment that they have that's going to be the, the, the decider between the game. Um, I think that's not just labelling the attacking players. The set pieces, I thought the delivery was fantastic today and we've got no one gambling, putting the head on the, on the end of it. The ratio of chances, I mean, they've taken two from possibly three, four, uh, whereas we, you know, eight and nine, do you think? Yeah, I would say so. Without look, looking at the game back, I think we've had brilliant entries into the final third and we've wasted opportunities. Um, probably clear-cut chances, I'd probably say. We've probably only had three or four. Um, but again, that's without the set pieces. Uh, I thought Dav and Tinnis' delivery today was excellent and we've got to do better than that. Um, but again, like I say, for me, the first half panned out how I thought it would. It, I, I just said to them, just tire them out, run the legs out of them, and um, which I felt we did. But we gave them a leg up and gave them something to hang on to. And then the second half, I felt that we had more energy than them. They kept the shape well, but I still think we had two or three really good opportunities that we should be scoring with. Poor finishing or good goalkeeping? A bit, bit of both. both. Bit of both, really. I think, obviously... Um, if you're working the goalkeeper, you're probably looking at it saying that look, the goalkeeper's made a good save. I don't think there's anything that I'm looking at saying that the keeper saved, saying he should save that. I think there's been, I think the, the, the two that I can remember, obviously the one with Tinners when he gets through, he hits it low and hard, he makes a good save, makes a good save from Dav, and there was a third one that he makes another good save from, but there's other times where it's just been poor finishing. Um, but we've got to be better, and that's not me saying the boys, we all have to be better. Everybody from myself at the top and, and right the way through to all our staff members and, and everyone um, within and anyone associated with work at Reds, we have to be better as a club and uh, raise our standards again. Uh, Dav's been the talisman first half of the season, not quite happening for him at the moment. Uh, would you pin you know, a few chances that's, that's been squandered down to the skipper or is it just... You know, general, no, it's, a, it's, a, it's a team game. It's a team game. It's all right when Dav's scoring goals and look, he's got 20 goals this season. Dav's done tremendously well. Um, now, other people have to step up if Dav's having enough yeah. off time. Um, Dav knows that there's moments where he needs to be better and tidier in possession. Um, but within that, 
uh, other people have got to step up, and that's again not just labelling the likes of Scotty Allison's Riggies, um, Lewis Riley's the attackers. That's all of us. The, the midfielders have got to chip in with goals, centre backs have got to chip in with goals, full backs have to chip in with goals. And, and until we start doing that and taking away this reliance on Dav, yeah. that um, that's sort of our only form of a goal, things aren't going to improve. Uh, you've gone in today with a more or less a threadbare squad. It's a difficult situation, one or two lads injured, and some of those on the, the bench, I suspect, not. Quite a hundred percent. Lewis Riley's return a bit earlier than you thought. Yeah, yeah, probably is. I think obviously we, we targeted next week being his return um, to within the squad. He's only trained twice, so we've got to be really careful with Lewis. Look, probably played five ten minutes more than what I wanted him to today. But again, like I say, needs must at times. And Lewis was happy to do it. Um, we are we're, we're, we're light on the ground at the moment. Obviously, uh, Bobby Carroll with his hamstring, Brad Hubble's obviously. Um, got an issue with his foot that he's decided that he needs to take two weeks complete rest to make sure he gets that right for the running. Um, but again, um, where we are, we've got the squad there, and I still fully believe we've got enough quality in this squad to not so much performances being better, results being better. What does it take? A fluke of a known goal or something else, something like that to get us going again? Look, I said pretty much um, on the radio that if you give Dav the chance at Whitby, 99 times out of 100, he scores it. You give Riggy the chance at Hyde, he scores it 99 times out of 100. Yeah. The one today where Scotty Al just doesn't quite get his foot enough contact on it to put it in the net. I'm back at Scotty, 99 times out of 100. I'd be more worried if we weren't creating these opportunities, but we've got to start taking them. It's it's no point. I don't want to be known as a team that's good on the eye, but we don't get results. It's a results business, and we've got to start um, putting these performances into results. So we just battle on and hope the look changes soon. Well, I'm not going to change. I'm, I've said that start the interview. I'm not going to change. My beliefs are that I want my teams to play football. Um, until I'm told otherwise by anybody above me, um, I'm not changing my ways. Um, if I've always said that if my situation was to change and someone else wants to come in and, and, and change the way the, the football's played, that's gone to, completely down to them. But I'm not changing my ways and I'll be sticking with my beliefs because I do believe in the group that we've got here that the results will turn. Danny, an honest assessment as usual. Thanks very much. Cheers, Dave.